<laughs> okay, so what they're asking us to do for uh, 23 is r plus 3s raised to the 6. All right, and they're, at, and they're expecting us to expand this, right? <clears throat> so last class, period there, last class period, there's a couple things that we talked about. The first thing is we um, talked about Pascal's triangle, which deals with the coefficients as we expand a binomial. If you guys remember, if we expand um, x plus y to the 0 power, x plus y to the first, x plus y squared, x plus y cubed, there was a relationship in those coefficients. And x plus y to the 0 just gives us an answer of 1 x plus y to the first, our coefficients are still going to be 1 and 1. But then when we go to squared, it ends up being 1, 1, 2, 1. And then what we noticed, there was a pattern that was occurring that when we took our two previous terms in the row above, they would add to give us our next coefficient. So by following this pattern for number 3, we get 1, 3, 3, 1. And those are the coefficients when you just have your singular monomials with coefficients already of 1 as you expand them. So that's to the third. If we want to figure out what it would be to the fourth, fifth, and sixth, let's see, we go 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And if we expand a binomial to the sixth power, and I'll have 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1. So those would be what your coefficients would be with your terms, right? Does everybody kind of remember that? Or at least understand, the, at least understand um, Pascal's triangle. All right, and we'll get to this in a second. Now the next thing we talked about was also how our exponents, do you guys remember every single binomial expression, x plus y raised to the n, can be written in the form of x to the n minus r times y to the r. Right? And if you guys remember, when we looked at the expansion, we noticed that it always starts off at n, where r is 0. So, it's the, so the first term starts off at x to the n, and then it goes down in descending order. Right? And the y started at 0, but then increased all the way up to it got to n, right? Till it got to that number. Do you guys kind of remember that? Yeah. OK. So remember, the x's decreased and the y's increased right, in their degree. So, what I'm going to be concerned about is I'm going to, if I want to expand this, I can pretty much do 1 plus 3s times 1 plus 3s six times, right? But that's going to be a lot of mathematics. So what I can do is by understanding Pascal's triangle, I know that every single coefficient is going to be multiplied by these terms. So what I could say is the first term is going to be multiplied by 1, then be multiplied by 6 multiplied by 15 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 15 and then multiplied by 6 and then multiplied by 1. These are going to be your coefficients of each one that they're going to be multiplied by. Now let's go back to the remember this can be written as your x to the n. So what I have is r and 3s. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write each term. Actually, you know what? Let me use different colors. So those are my coefficients. All right, and we got those from Pascal's triangle. Now, in the binomial expansion, we know that this can be r times 3s. r times 3s. r times 3s r times 3s, r times 3s, and then r times 3s, and then r times 3s. All right? So does everybody follow me with each, each term, had, each binomial expansion has every single one of the terms. But now remember that now our exponents start. So the first one, my first term starts at 6 and then goes down in descending order. So 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, right? And then my second term starts at 0 and then goes in ascending order. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Does everybody follow me with what I've done? 5, 5, 6. 
Has everybody followed me with what I've done and why I've done it that like that? Okay, you guys don't have to show all this work, but I'm showing you guys this so you can see exactly where I'm coming from. All right, because that, this is your form, if you guys notice, x to the n minus r times y to the r. You guys can see that each one of these terms follow this path, right? The degrees follow this. 6 minus 0, 5 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 3 minus 3, 2 minus 4, right? They keep on following. The, y, the r's increase to your, your degree and your n decrease, right? All right. So now we need to simply simplify. So I am going to need a calculator from somebody to, or at least to help me compute some of these numbers. So now let's just go to this. Anything to the 0 power we know is going to equal 1, right? And we can eliminate this one. We don't really write it out there, but I wanted to show you guys that it does exist. So there we go. So r to the 6th power is just going to be r to the 6th power. Here we have 3s to the 1st power. So 3 times 6 is going to be 18. So we have positive 18, r to the 5th power, s to the 1st. Right? Plus. So here I have 3s squared. So I have 3 times um, 9. So then 9 times 4 is 45. So it's going to be 135. 135, r to the fourth, s squared. Make sure you guys square the 3, right? 3s squared is 9s squared. 9 times 15 is 135. Um, I'm going to need some guys work here. So we could do plus um, r cubed. So 3 cubed is going to be 27. 27 times 20. So it's 27 times 10 is 270. So it would be 540? Yeah. Yes. So we have 540 r to the fourth power s. Am I doing the other one? Oh, I'm over here. r cubed s cubed plus 3 to the fourth power, which is, I forget, 27 times 3, 81. So 81 times 15. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. 1,215. That's r squared s to the fourth plus 3 to the fifth power. So it would be oh, 243 and then 243 times 6. 1,458. 58? Yeah. OK. And that's going to be r to the first power, s to the fifth. And then the last one is going to be 3 to the sixth power, which will be? OK? And that's your binomial expansion. Final answer. You guys see it? Or you guys could do r plus 3s times r plus 3s six times. Either way you want to go. OK? There you go. That's it. Now, 